Hello, my dear. It's pretty obvious. Jason Rutledge oh. likes to chat. And what are you up to this evening? The Sobeys cashier's infectious energy often draws a crowd. When you ask, why do they come to me? I have no idea. But I do know, like, for me, I come here for them. So the Edmonton grocery store started a social slow lane where people can take as long as they want. It was fine. I can turn it any lane into a slow lane. Because <laughs> I'm retired now, so I have nothing but time. <laughs> In a world of express lanes and self-checkouts, this lane is a reminder it's okay to slow down and have a chat. Good afternoon, Julia. Hello, Jason. It's great to see you again. <laughs> the pandemic created the need. The store had the right people for the job. COVID's kind of isolated us, or it's, it's sort of divided us. They were there for social interaction. They were there for, you know, really to get their, their soul's worth. Get a little bit of love from Jason, I guess. Encounters can range from mere seconds to many minutes. Oh, that's the thing. And can vary nice. from sports to work to the deeply personal. Because you never know. Like every day is something new and exciting and it's crazy. It, I love it. And that little bit of love can go a long way. All right. In general, if I have some time, I really would. I really like this kind of contact. Before I came in here, it was like, blah. And now <laughs> he makes you laugh and it makes you feel better. For Rutledge, the check out is all about checking in on others. I look at the time that I have with these people as a very, it's our conversations especially are very sacred to me. Conversations that are good for the soul. You have a great day, brother. <laughs> Julia Wong, CBC News, Edmonton.